Hello good people of the internet, my name is Hexa, welcome welcome back to my channel and to today's video in which I will be unboxing everything I got from this year's Lush Boxing Day sale. So, <laughs> for last year's Lush Christmas collection, I really went overboard. I spent like almost 300 euros buying most of the Christmas collection and a bunch of body sprays that were being discontinued. And it was just way too much. It was a lot of money. It was really stressful. And so this year I decided, okay, I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna buy really anything from the Christmas collection until the Boxing Day sale. So the only things I got not on the sale were the, I think it's called Plum Duff shower gel and one snowman dreaming bath bomb. And the rest, I just waited. For the sale, I figured, you know, I decided in my heart, like, if it sells out, it's fine. I accept that. It, like, if something I want sells out, it's fine. It'll probably come back next year or another time. And if it doesn't, I'll get it on the sale and, you know, really save a lot of money. So, here we are. It's a pretty big box, but, you know, I only spent 62 euros on it, which normally would have cost twice that. So, I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't buy anything that wasn't on sale, which was pretty awesome. So, let's... Dig in. I'm in a little bit of a different filming setup, as you can probably tell. I'm at my boyfriend's place and I'm in his office because it has the best lighting. So I kind of hijacked his office space for the moment. Let's begin. Ooh, I have not calculated the Ellie component, the Ellie the puppy component in regards to um, these biodegradable packing peanuts falling all over the place. I think even though they are natural, she should probably not eat them. She's sitting right here looking at me very intently. I'm like, ooh, what is this? It's so warm here. I'm right next to the radiator. Whoa. All right, Ellie, come on up. No licky the face. Uh. <laughs> She's got her arm down my shirt. Excuse me. That's rude. All right, our first thing in here, we have something yellow that is, I think, unfortunately broken. What is happening? Aw. That's kind of sad. Okay, so this was, I don't know what this was called, but it's, I know it has some some components, um, some other components in it. It's supposed to be a little sleigh. And then we should have a little Santa that goes in there. So let me find the Santas over here. Okay, ooh, this was called the Santa's Magic Sleigh Bath Bomb. All right, let's give this a sniff. This definitely smells fruity. I think they're, I think both components smell the same if I'm not mistaken. Ellie, what do you think? <laughs> it mostly smells fruity, like berries. So like a very sweet, yeah, sweet fruity scent. Berries or like black currants or something like that. Okay, so kind of a shame that this is broken. Were there, was there just a Santa or was there another little character in there? I really can't tell, I cannot remember, but I thought there were more. Okay, here we are. So there's also a little, there's a little white bear. I'm gonna assume that the little white bear is also from the Santa's Magic Slate bath bomb, but that one is, it's a little bit sad that it came cracked, but you know, the two little characters are still intact and it is a very cute bomb. Very great for anyone who likes the smell of fruits and berries. So I'm gonna give that one a six out of 10 just because berries are not really my favorite. And also, you know, it came cracked. It's a little bit, probably a little bit fragile to transport, I guess. Um, it was also near the top of the box. So maybe that would have been better to hide it under a little bit more um, packing peanuts, but yeah. Moving on. I'm a little bit frazzled today, if you can't tell already. Ooh. I wasn't sure if I got another one of these, but apparently I did. I got another Snowman Dreaming bath bomb because I think they're so beautiful. Ellie wants to sniff it first. Oh, did you lick it? Not, it's not, I bet it's not tasty. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely smell a little hint of lavender or something else like bitter and calming. Why do I smell lemongrass on here? I don't think this actually has lemongrass, but it smells lemongrassy. Yeah, this does have a slight like sour note to it, but I'm not sure where that's coming from because I don't think it is supposed to have a sour note according to the ingredients. But it smells like a good blend of like calming and refreshing. Snowman Dreaming gets a seven or eight out of 10. The smell for me is a seven out of 10, but based on the design, it's just beautiful. I think this is one of the most beautiful bombs that they make, so I really love that. Ellie, you're getting covered in bath bomb powder over here. You wanna go? Yeah, let's go. Oh. It's stinky over here, stinky. It's too stinky. 
Ooh, shake, shake, shake. Ooh. Okay, this is the Snowball Bath Bomb. Not much to look at from the outside. It's just plain white, but inside it has blue. So when you put it into the water, it kind of like, I don't know, dissolves and then like turns into this like little blue surprise. I don't love the scent. It's very strong on the lemongrass, like really, really, <laughs> really pungently strong on the lemongrass. Mm, it's supposed to have some minty components in here as well, but <clears throat> at least upon first impression, it is completely like overshadowed, overpowered by the lemongrass. Based on that, I'm gonna give Snowball a six out of 10. I think it will be very pretty in the water, but I wish it was a little like softer on the lemongrass. It's, a, it's, it's too much for me. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And here we have something that I got for my sister. This is the Snow Fairy Soap. I do not like Snow Fairy, it's too sweet for me. This actually smells a little bit milder than the other Snow Fairy products. This doesn't bother me as much. It's got a slight creaminess to it that other Snow Fairy products don't really give me. But anyway, I got this for my sister. She's 12, she likes Snow Fairy. It's very like, it's very bubblegummy, cotton candy, like childlike sweet scent. Not much to say about this for me personally, just because I knew I wouldn't like this. <laughs> that much is not one of my favorite scents so i'll just put this aside but it's a very very pretty soap i like the whole star in the middle it's really cute okay and another gift for my sister this looks totally different from the picture i got the snow fairy roll which is a bubble bar again snow fairy scented obviously i thought this was supposed to be more oval but this one is like basically almost perfectly round ellie what are you eating not packing peanuts okay that's all i needed to know <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, soap, Snow Fairy soap and bubble bar for my little sister. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of fun with it. This is pretty, pretty decently sized, pretty heavy, pretty hefty. I'm sure it's gonna get a lot of uses out of this. Moving on to hopefully something more my speed next. Ooh, there's a gift. I bought a little gift, but I don't wanna get around to that yet. So let's do something else first. Next up is the iconic Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Mm, this is one of my absolute favorites. I think it's so, so, so beautiful and pretty. It's simple and classy and classic. And it smells like the Honey I Washed the Kids scent, which I really, really love. It's milky, it's sweet but not too sweet. It's comforting, it smells very foody and just like luxurious and soothing. I really love it. The scent of this bath bomb is amazing. The appearance of this bath bomb is amazing. It has these like little cocoa butter stars with glitter that just melt in your bath and nourish and hydrate your skin. This is amazing all around. Totally love it. This does have the new design with the kind of uh, geometric shape on the bottom of the bomb. Um, I'm not sure why Lush decided to do that. I've been, I'm kind of not a huge fan of some of the design changes and choices that Lush has been making recently. I don't like that they stopped making the soaps in all the pretty unique shapes and I also don't understand this whole geometric pattern thing, but to each their own, I guess. I'm, I'm sure there are some people out there who really love it. Shoot for the stars, 10 out of 10 from me always. I absolutely adore this bomb. Ellie, you still have bath bomb dust on your little nose, on your little snoot. Do you wanna come sit with me? Nope, you don't want to sit with me. Okay, go see what daddy's doing. Ooh, there's something pink here. I wonder what it is. I cannot recall for the life of me. Oh, this one. Okay, what was the name of this? You shall go to the ball. Very like Cinderella themed, I guess. Not particularly Christmassy necessarily. I don't know, is Cinderella a Christmas story? I don't feel like it is, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. I love the whole fairy tale vibe. The carriage is so pretty and so like very, um, looks very decadent, looks very like luxurious, very um, 
fancy. As for the smell, I think I do like it. It's got a mix of like sweet and bitter to it. Let's see. So this has tonka in it, which gives it that like vanilla-y, but not overpoweringly sweet scent. I guess that is the sweet and bitter that I'm getting. It also has some citrus in there, but I don't really smell a lot of citrus. To me, it really just smells like a little bit herbal kind of. I had expected this to be a little bit bigger, but I don't mind the size. I mean, it is what it is. I just thought that it would be bigger just because it's so like, like such an intricate design. I'm gonna give this bomb a seven out of 10. I think it's very pretty. I love the golden shimmery dust on it and the scent is just okay. It's not like super amazing, but it doesn't bother me and I think it's gonna be nice. Ooh. Here we have a shower gel. I got the Jolly shower gel from the Christmas collection. I have never smelled this before. I don't know if it's new, like brand new to Lush or if they've had it come out before. I just got a little bit on my finger when I was opening it. Oopsie. Mmm. It looks kind of thick right off the bat, just looking at it in the bottle. The smell of this is very, very orangey, very like sweet and orangey. That's the first thing I get. And then you also get a hit of that kind of spice that's in there. Very zesty, sweet, and a little bit spicy, very warming. It kind of reminds me of punch or mulled wine, as a lot of these Christmas scents from Lush do. It's very much in like the hot toddy slash glog kind of direction. I'm gonna give this shower gel a... <laughs> Ellie, what are you doing? Would you like me to throw it for you? Ooh. Go! <laughs> I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I love the orange color. The smell is okay. Probably not gonna be one of my favorites all year round, but I think it is a good scent for Christmas. I guess what it makes you think of would be like, you know, oranges with like nutmeg shoved into them. I don't know. I don't know what that's called, but that's like a typical classic winter activity, right? Is like decorating oranges with with little, um, no, not nutmeg, cloves. <laughs> all right, so seven out of 10 for Jolly Shower Gel. Let's put that aside. All right, let me just, ooh, okay. I still have a few to get to. Gotta start digging around in here. It's getting kind of hard to find what I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna remove the gift that's in there just in case there's anything hiding under it. I don't think there would be, but there, I don't know, there might be. Nope, there isn't. Ugh, but it's so pretty. I'll get to this in the end, okay? <sighs> Oh my God, my nose is so itchy. <coughs> oh, found one, found one. Okay. <laughs> this is the Hey Hollywood bath bomb. Woo. Oh, I didn't realize it was so shiny. It's covered in this beautiful silvery iridescent dust. Makes it look like a beautiful pearl. Mmm. Very like, very loving. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of this one. It's very, very minty, very fresh and revitalizing. This is a very pretty, intricate bomb with a really simple scent. There's not a lot of ingredients in here, not a lot of scents going on, but the design kind of speaks for itself. I thought this was so, so beautiful and I just couldn't resist. The little holly on top, this pearl finish, it's just amazing and I'm sure it's gonna look really good in the bath and that minty scent is going to feel really nice and, I don't know, cooling, refreshing. Mmm. I'm loving just smelling it. It's getting that, giving me that like cooling sensation in my throat, clearing up all my sinuses. <laughs> I feel like if I had a cold or something, I would want to use this. Amazing. Really, really like this bomb. I'm gonna give this a, I was gonna say nine out of 10, but honestly, just give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, there's nothing to complain about with this. It doesn't have like the most amazing, unique scent, but it's a good scent, you know? I like it. So let's give this a 10 out of 10 for Hey Hollywood. Love the holly on here. So, so pretty. Okay, next up. I think we have one more bath bomb. No, we have two. Oh, three. Oh shoot. There's a lot more in here that I haven't found. This box of Lush goodies is starting to feel like Mary Poppins carpet bag. It's like, where are they all hiding? I can't find them. Ooh, found another one. This is the Jingle Bells bath bomb. Ooh, I didn't know it had a pattern on the bottom. I'm not sure what the pattern on the bottom is supposed to be. Ooh. Oh my God, that's so cool. 
It's one of these interactive ones that has noise inside. It has like something rattling in there. That's so cool. Here, give this a listen. I guess it's fitting to the name of it because it's called Jingle Bells and it is kind of like jingling something around in there. I don't trust my nose anymore. I used to just give my first impressions, but now I feel like I've gotten so many things so wrong recently <laughs> that I'm just gonna look at the paper to figure out what this is supposed to smell like. This doesn't have lemongrass in it, but to me it does smell a bit like lemongrass. It has some other citrus notes and along along, but honestly, I don't really smell a lot of the along along. It does smell very lemongrassy to me. Who knows though? Who knows what it's gonna smell like in the bath? On first impressions, don't really super love the smell of it. The smell for me is like a five out of 10, but it's a very beautiful bomb. So I'm going to give this a seven out of 10. It has this beautiful little red bow on it. It has some little stars. Um, kind of embedded into the side of it and this I don't know something on the bottom That's like a like a plus sign and then it's got four dots around it I don't know is that supposed to be like a compass or something like like the, the North star I don't know <laughs> Okay, seven out of ten for Jingle Bells bath bomb very interested in the rattling in here Really, really like the interactive component. That's very, very fun. Ooh, our next bath bomb is something I'm really excited about. I thought that I would really love this and I hope that I do. This is the Golden Pudding Bath Bomb. Oh my goodness. A beautiful golden dusting of shimmer on the bottom of it. And then on the top, it's got a little, it looks like holly, right? So these two kind of go together. I think they pair together very well. Mmm, amazing. Based on the look of this and the theme of it being the golden pudding bath bomb, I would have thought that it would have like a like a more dessert-like smell. I would have thought it would smell like Nana or like Honey, I Washed the Kids or something similar to that, very like food-like, but it's actually, I think, celebrate scented. It's extremely fresh, zingy, and citrusy. It's a very, very uplifting, very nice scent. I would say the scent is a little bit, it doesn't necessarily pair very well with the appearance of the bomb and the theme of the bomb, but it is a nice scent. I think I would have liked something a little more cohesive. I would have liked for this to smell like a baked good, but the citrus is still really nice and Celebrate is, is a really good scent. For this gorgeous little golden pudding bomb, I will give it a eight out of 10. I think a lot of work went into the design of this. I think it's really, really beautiful. No rattling in there, but <laughs> I like the scent. I like the gold. I like the little holly on top and I'm gonna really enjoy using this. One last product and I will move on to the gift box that I got. Oh, there we are. Okay, this is the North Pole Bubble Bar. Mm. Whoa, this smells really fruity, not overly sweet. It smells like a, it doesn't smell like a really artificial or overly sweet kind of fruity. It smells very balanced, a very balanced fruity because I don't normally like fruity scents, but this one um, I actually really like. It's also got a little bit of spice in there. Again, this is going very much in that direction of like punch and glue wine kind of scent, mulled wine. It's a very small, you know, what's the word? It's a humble bubble bar. It's like, this is me, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. It kind of stands for itself, you know? It's got a little sign on it pointing you towards the North Pole. It's very cute. I'm gonna give this bubble bar a seven or eight out of 10. I can't really decide. The fruitiness of this one is really quite pleasant. I like it. If you like fruity scents or, you know, slightly sweet scents, I think you would enjoy this. Hmm. Okay. And our last item is the peace and love gift box. Ugh, I don't really want to open this right now though because it's so pretty and I don't know, maybe I want to take some pictures of it before I open it, but the Peace and Love gift box has two things which are not from the Christmas collection. Firstly, let's talk about the packaging. It's got a beautiful poinsettia and holly themed wrapping paper. So, so pretty. There's these little white flowers, which I don't know what they are. Is that mistletoe? I don't think so. Maybe it does have mistletoe in there though. 
I've never seen mistletoe in person, so I have no idea what it what it's about. <laughs> so this gift box contains a piece of the figs and leaves soap which I think I've smelled before and I think I really, really like it. From what I recall, I don't, I don't know how to describe the scent of figs and leaves, but it's very nice, it's very decadent. And there's also a 45 gram pot of the Dream Cream Body Lotion. I do really love figs and leaves soap, so that was kind of a bonus, but I really wanted to get some Dream Cream for myself because my hands have been so, so, so dry recently. They're a little bit better right now. I've only got, they've only like cracked open on one knuckle over here under my pinky, but like a few, like a week ago, it was like literally, I couldn't even bend my fingers because they're, they were just like bleeding on all my little knuckles. It was very sad. So, um, and I tried a bunch of like medical grade creams and unscented medical grade creams. And even those were like stinging my hands but dream cream was probably the only cream that i tried that genuinely felt really comforting and nice on my super dry chapped hands so i wanted to get some for myself to just soothe and nourish my hands which are really not liking the winter right now editing hexa here i also got this little fresh as solid perfume which i totally missed while i was filming the video because it was so tiny that it just got lost in the box this is a great unisex scent with notes of siberian fur needle oil benzoin resinoid oris oil fur needle absolute and tagidis oil it really just smells like you're inside a beautiful pine forest so that was everything for today's unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really, really happy with my little Boxing Day haul. I got some really nice things and I'm glad that I waited, you know? I think with like, with a lot of Lushies, there's this kind of pressure to be the first one to get it and to review it and to post lots of pictures of it um, during the Christmas season. And I don't know, I just felt like I was getting too much into that craze of just more and more and more. <laughs> so I'm glad that I just held back a little bit this year and just got the things that really spoke to me or that I really thought that I would like. And yeah, I thought there was someone behind me for a moment. It was just my boyfriend's um, chair back there. <laughs> scared me for a second. So thank you guys so much for joining me for today's unboxing. I hope you guys liked it and please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite product was from this year's Christmas Lush collection or Lush Christmas collection. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!